But Mahomes talked about eyeing the three-peat and discussed being locked in uh, this season after a regular season that was pretty uh, forgettable last year as far as going up and down, uh, but ending in the way that he wanted to. He wants to make sure that the Chiefs have fun along the way this season, unlike last year, because they did not have any fun. So I'm going to roll the video here. The end result was awesome, but, I mean, I think a lot of us still have a, a weird feeling in our our, our mouth because, I mean, we really didn't play the football the way we wanted to play all year long, and it wasn't fun. I mean, all the every single week having to try to just continue to get better and better and results not paying off the way you wanted to, um, it wasn't a lot of fun. And I, we have a lot of those same guys back, and they know how that felt. And so we're going to try to prepare ourselves better this year so that we can play better throughout the season and obviously try to end with the same result. So, J.D., uh, so with Mahomes talking about last year being kind of this up-and-down, not-fun season, what do you make of Mahomes coming into the training camp with this mindset of using last year as a barometer of to do much better during the regular season and to ultimately have the same result by the end of the season? Man, i tell you what. I, I commend him for being honest, very truthful about how he felt about last season. And we can see it. We can see how it wore on him. We can see how in the games Patrick Mahomes was out of character, right? Going after the refs and like you can see the stress that these guys had to go through. They he had to week in and week out to to reinforce to everybody else that they were okay. That they were gonna be all right. Even though he knew that the task was, was harder each and every week. And then that, that's what it was. Guys were dropping balls. For a guy to, that is positive, who, who is one that is a motivator, he had a he had a rough season as far as the, the feeling of it. Okay, and so the one guy he knew he could rely on was Travis Kelsey. That was his go-to, and then all of a sudden, Rasheed Rice steps up. He starts showing what he can do, and obviously, you know, Pacheco was able to pull us through some games, man, through his hard running and, and just. His playmaking was just spectacular. And then, of course, our defense, what they did, I mean, they were phenomenal the entire, entire year. And so for Patrick, he was kind of in a new, a new place because usually it's the offense that's killing everybody. It's the offense that's, you know, carrying the team in the past. And, you know, that, that's what everybody's coming to see, right? How many yards is Patrick Holmes going to throw for? How many touchdowns? Is going to make how many touchdowns Travis Kelsey is going to have, and so when he had some of the receiver core dropping passes, you know, making some bow headed mistakes. Obviously, uh, sometimes the offensive line didn't get things right, like you like you would think, but these guys pulled it off. They pulled it off, but it just made it tougher for him. Man, you could just say it weighed on his mental. It weighed on his mental. I'm, I just commend him for coming in and t- actually telling the truth, but also too what that does, Marcus, is he's trying to cultivate you know, a winning type of environment. That's what he's trying to do. So he immediately, he's coming in, I'm sure, into the meeting. He's letting these guys know, like, look, it wasn't fun last year for us. We have a standard about what it is we want to be. I never want to be in that position again. I'm sure he was feeling that way, and I'm sure he told his guys that. Like, look, what we did was embarrassing. It was. Some of the, some of the play out there was embarrassing. Uh, on on many fronts, and I'm sure he'll say the same thing. I, you know, like he said, he like he, who said it, like the snake. He was frustrated, absolutely frustrated. And so, like some the, even some of the things he did, like I said, being out of character, going after the refs, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. So uh, these guys get it back on track. That's what I love about it because we know they're good. He knows they're good, uh, but he don't want to make this year like it was last year. He just doesn't want to have to go through the ups and downs and the pains and the embarrassment on some of these plays and stuff. Uh, and, I, and I think, you know, when you have a leader that is, is upfront and honest like he was, uh, th- then you know how to take it. I, I don't think he was belittling anybody. I don't think he was saying anything in, in, in a way that was <sighs> demeaning in itself. He was just saying we just didn't have any type of fun. It wasn't fun last year, right? And so they were kind of, it was week in, week out. The talking heads always had something to say about Kansas City. Is their wide receiver room going to be any good or how they're going to look this, you know, this week? And, and that, that man, it is frustrating. Frustrating. So 
Well, I remember there was times we came on the show after after games. We we won games, and it was like a, we eke it out, and it'd be like, yeah, it was ugly, but we, we pull off a, we pull off a win. So like you know that, that there you go, we'll take the dub. But like it, were, it was it wasn't pretty, it wasn't fun like Mahomes said. And I, and I think also no. too with what Mahomes is saying, like I love it, I love it. And I'm also like. For, for these rookies who are coming in, it's like, man, this guy's not satisfied. He's one of the Super Bowls. He's not satisfied. Like, man, all right, I'm, I'm gonna have like my hands full with the with the Mahomes because the standard is so like so much higher, right? It's like, yeah, we won, but it wasn't pretty and it wasn't fun. This year, I want to get back to having fun and and winning games and also finishing with the same result. So I love that. That's the word he's using is the is the not fun because like mm-hmm. football at the end of the day, it is fun. The Chiefs, the Chiefs teams yeah. we've seen over the last few years, those were fun. Last year was a struggle. It wasn't fun. End was, and the partying and happy, being happy after the fact was fun. But to get there was a tough road, and they want to get back to having fun. And I think with the pieces we brought in this offseason, I think it can get back to that, and that's obviously what they want to do from, from the get-go um, coming out of training camp. Well, yeah. I mean, once you're the face of the NFL, you don't, you don't want to show struggle. You don't want to do that, right? And so, you know, people start doubting it. Like I said, every talking head out here was talking about how bad the Chiefs were going to be. They weren't going to make the playoffs. They weren't going to make the Super Bowl. You know, they're going to be out of it. You know, they start using Vegas. They start talking about charges. They start talking about everybody else except the Chiefs. And it was crazy. It was crazy to me because I, I just understand the dynamics of when you do have somebody of that caliber at the quarterback, tight end position at running back, you're going to be able to find a win. Coaches, same thing. You're going to be able to find a win. Like you said, eat some things out. These guys willed themselves to win, and it was it was enough to get these things going. And so, like Wendy said, uh, she said, "Eff it, let's get let's do better, no doubt about it." And so, when Andy was talking about these guys are 100 miles an hour, they're going to expect other people to play 100 miles an hour. That's what he's talking about. Okay, they're, they're opening the doors, man. They're going to turn it loose. And so that's what Patrick said. Like, look, we're going to have fun again. We're going to throw the ball deep. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go against every defense out here. Whoever shows up, we're going to hit you over the head with everybody because we got weapons all around us. And so I can't wait to see it, man. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to see it. It's almost like a, a reckoning in a sense, right? Because everybody died on them how they were last year. But they, Patrick's like, don't leave any doubt this year. Don't do it. You know, if you bet against us, then you're going to find yourself on the losing end. And so, uh, yeah, man, I love that attitude. I love it. And also to like to talk about like you know kind of starting off the season with this attitude he has right now to kind of like instill this from, from the day one even before day one because it's really technically it's training camp has begun for the rookies and the quarterbacks but not for the whole team but like yeah. the fact that he wants to instill this from the get go it just tells you a lot because if you look at look about we we lose the Lions right, right out the gate last year but look going into that. Kelsey, we all thought, you know, there's potential that he might have been out for the season, but, you know, it's just a bone bruise in his knee and the hyperextension, which kind of lasted pretty much half the season with them. Kadarius Tony gets hurt the first weekend of training camp, and then that was our wide receiver one going into the season. So it was kind of like this kind of weird thing that we hadn't really dealt with in the Mahomes era, where it was like all these injuries and mystery going on going into week one. But hopefully yeah. this year we can be unscathed of all those injuries going into week one of the season and instill this kind of fun atmosphere and get crap done and let's do better this year. And I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a different kind of vibe going into a 3 P type season. That's another thing, too. Last year they're going for a back-to-back. This year they're going for history that's, that's never been done before. So, like, it's also the element of that as well on top of let's have fun, but it's also let's compete for this 3 P that's never been done before. Right, right. Yeah, this, this – this right here is a historic run. And so why not have fun while you're doing it, okay? Because if you put all the pressures you're just thinking about, well, let's do something nobody has ever done, the pressures of that in itself alone may not make it fun. But Patrick's like, no, look, we're we going to score a whole lot of points. We're going to be a high-powered offense. I want y'all just thinking about that. Once we think about that, the wind's going to take care of itself. The defense is still going to be legit. They're still going to go out here and thrash everybody. Now it's our turn to step back up, you know, how we used to be. And so uh, I, I think Patrick is make sure he's putting that environment together to let these guys know, like, look, man, if you come in here half-stepping about anything or you don't have a smile on your face while we're doing it, then uh, we're going to have an issue and a problem. So uh, it, it kind of makes me think. I don't even know why this came to my head, but the, the time at the, toward the end of the game or the end of the year, 
when him and Rasheed Rice got on it, they got on to, in, into each other's face on the sideline, right? And so that's what Patrick feels like. Look, I'm not babysitting nobody. <laughs> this ain't babysitting. I'm not babysitting people. Be with it. Be with it or, you know, or be behind. You, you know, you make a choice. You make a choice. So. And to, to echo what you're saying, J.D., he pretty much said that when he talked about Xavier Worthy. Like, no, nah, there's no easing in. You're, you're going to get right to it. This, this is a serious business, man. We're not going to baby you. Like you said, not going to be your babysitter. You're going to you're gonna learn this crap. You're going to get in right away because we have other guys who, who want to compete right now. Because he also mentioned, you know, how how good of a room it is. There's no easing in. There's a, It's competition from day one at, right out the gate. Well, well, we talked about it too, right? We talked about guys having, you know, a lot of years under their belt. And so Hollywood Brown is, is that guy. Right, he's he's the one. Nicole Hartman is that guy who I like the vets in in that room. So he he's not playing around. He's not he's not playing around whatsoever. This is not college, okay. This is not last year. We're doing something great, okay. And if you want to be on this team, you want to get this thing done. Then you need to be on the same page with me and get with it and get with it. So uh, I think Pat, we're going to see the Grim Reaper starting off at camp getting these guys ready and prepared to let them know we're trying to be the best in the NFL. And we're going to let everybody know and see it each weekend and week out, period, point blank. So, 100%. Yeah, yeah. that John Clifford, Pat's got three uh, kids of his own to raise. There you go. <laughs> He's right. No, <laughs> right. no, you can't add a play to that. <laughs> no, sir. That's right. No. Hey, I've grown men. Hey, and, and, and of course, all the things that done happen too, like during this offseason, same thing. They ain't they did with none of that mess. All that's over with. All that's over with, man. So, yeah, yeah they'll be all right. They'll, they'll, they'll get it together. But I like that because that's the type of attitude you have to have to be champions. I think you have to have that, though. And set, set the tone from day one. Not, 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 we're not even technically in training camp yet, but what we're going to count as training camp since rookies and Mahomes. Mahomes is there. We're going to count as training camp. But the whole team's not even there yet. Mahomes, or Kelsey's still in Ireland right now with uh, with Swift, you know? So, I mean, that's he's he's coming in day one and saying this is, what, this is what's going to happen. And like we said, J.D., uh, the fact that, you know, there's, there's drawbacks to having the rookies and quarterbacks reporting before everybody else. But when you have Patrick Mahomes, is, is that guy coming in with everybody else? It's like, hey, like – I'm gonna lay the law down. This is what we're, this is how it's gonna be. And there you go. You're instilling that uh, that psyche in, the, in those players route route the gate. Yeah, it, it, this is good for them as far as they'll set it up this way. Uh, I told you I, I prefer that all of them come in together. That that's just me. That's kind of my like old school mentality of just doing it. So everybody is on the same page. But I, I I'm not opposed to it because we do have a young receiver core, and so getting Xavier Worthy prepared. I'm sure, you know, some of the other guys let you get in, get your feet wet so you understand what is going on, how it's going to look up here, you know, the pace that we're going at, uh, and then we'll, we'll move on from that point. So, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Donna Cocker says, hopefully we don't need as much blood pressure medicine this season. <laughs> Yeah, so 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 I you you and I are coming on our post game shows, looking at each other and just disbelief. <laughs> like, what did we just see? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was a little rough, but that, but we had faith in them. I had faith. I didn't, you know, I, they did what I expected them to do. Yeah. They did exactly what I expected them to do, and they won it all. So, yeah. Although after that Buffalo Bills uh, four o'clock game, we were all kind of uh, in disbelief after what we what we saw. Not the playoff game, <laughs> the regular season one. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hi everybody! Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.